Next is about James Cook, Farther Than Any Man. This is a great book because James Cook wasn't necessarily a slave, but he worked in farms owned by other people where you essentially become a farmer and, and that like, or a, a worker of the land and that just keeps on going through generations. So he, generations of his family had been farmers. By farmers, I don't mean they own the farm, they work the land. And he wanted something different. He wanted something greater. So he joined the Merchant Marines. Now, the merchant marines were, you start at the bottom and you typically stay at the bottom. There were no relationships in his life that would excel his desire for adventure and greatness. But that's what he wanted. And the caveat to this is he rose through the merchant marines in a time where people stayed where they were. Class system used to be way more structured than we have it now. Now, there is literally endless possibilities because of the internet, because of information, because of everything we have at our hands right now for people to rise up. Back then, you stayed where you were born. So he goes to the Merchant Marines. He eventually grows to, to gain control of a ship where you can actually make a lot of money. But he wants adventure. And trade routes in that time were essentially uh, stuck. They were static. You go one place, you go another place, and you keep on trading and you, you gain wealth that way. You own your own ship eventually and so forth. But that's not what he wanted. He wanted uh, adventure. So he quit the Merchant Marines, joined the Royal Navy, gave up his wealth, started back at the bottom, rose up again to command a ship, and his life was filled with adventure. It's an incredible success story of someone who's not supposed to be where they ended up. Caveat is, he was never around his family, obviously, but he got what he wanted in life. He got adventure, um, he got to explore new lands, he got to meet new people, and that's what fueled him. And again, he ended up in a place where he was not supposed to end up. Both of these first books are during times where you stayed where you were born. You didn't enter into royalty or wealth or power or command if you weren't born there. In James Cook's situation, captains of ships were sons of captains of ships or sons of royalty or sons of whatever. And so he broke through that and became one of the most important adventurers in history.